kind of how it works you won't see stuff unless there's engagement on your stuff right hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how you can become a group hacker to find the hottest leads in groups we're going to talk about the process and what I mean by group hacker we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right a group hacker as a hacker of groups there's lots of ways you can look into that you can think that that's a negative thing but it's definitely a positive thing and it's the way that I've been doing that I've been using groups that you can do too to find the hottest prospect now you've probably heard a whole bunch of stuff from all sorts of leaders about using groups and some of what I might talk to you about might surprise you so keep tuned but before we go there I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're gonna want to go check out the video at cis430.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be uh, I also have a blog post I'll be writing so go check that out all right so let's get right to it let's go to Facebook and let's talk about hacking groups right so you're on Facebook you're scrolling through Facebook and you know leaders tell you go find groups go find people that are in groups that you are that are your target market right so you go and you join all these groups like me I'm in click funnels here I mean uh, and if I go to groups for example right here you can see my groups that I manage and then groups I've joined see a whole bunch of groups there now you can do that too right so obviously the first thing you want to do you do want to join groups that your target market is in and if you're new to the online marketing you know Facebook kind of world where you use groups to connect with people it's really really simple so let's just kind of cover that really quickly so basically what you do is you just type well actually you don't have to search groups here let's go to the top level search button in Facebook and you just type something like uh you know uh, I don't know cooking um cooking healthy say for example let's say that you're you're you know you've got uh cooking recipes or maybe you're uh trying to find people that want to be healthy and you know that they you, and you want to find people that love cooking right it's not just about your product or what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to do you also want to find people that have an interest that you can kind of target right because you know we talk about building a business online using building an audience all these different things if you're trying to create a course you're trying to sell a course you're going to have to have an audience that's interested in your course content right so how do you find those people well you decide what they're interested in and you search for those interests right so like in this case we'll do healthy cooking and we'll find a bunch of different things and if you want you just click on the groups little groups thing here and that shows you just the groups right so if I scroll through this I look at this you know healthy family cooking 11,000 members healthy cooking three mem 3,000 members 23,000 members 121,000 9,000 right so obviously these groups are busy groups they're big groups and you would just go here and you would say join the group by clicking the join group right and then you would you know be part of the group so obviously one of the things that's important to do is to actually go in the group look at who's in there to look at the post you know do comments and things like that that's just what every every leader teaches you out there right so that's I'm not going to get into that I'm not going to go and well, I mean look, if I go to the group here right it's a private group and I have to click on the join group here to join the group and that's what you got to do so let let uh do I well I don't want to do that because this is not my target market let's go back into here and say affiliate marketing which is a let's say affiliate or let's actually you know what let's go for high ticket affiliate marketing okay so that's just an example of something that I'm kind of into I'm not saying that I'm going to try to sell you anything but the point is that if I'm looking for groups that 
that I want to join so I'm going to actually do that so basically high ticket affiliate marketing for beginners there's 1,000 members there that's actually a good number a thousand members is good it's a lot better than 23,000 for different reasons you'll we'll get into that in a second but let's just say in this one here's 400 members right so let's just go to this one right I'm just going to go join that one I'm going to say join group and depending on the group type they'll ask you questions and you should just you know answer those questions do, do you want my report card on how big how big clients think yeah sure I, I don't know what this is right I and I agree to the group and sure and I'm going to put my email there because most group members ask our emails which I'm not this is kind of funny that this one doesn't but I'm going to say like this and then there you go so now uh it's pending to be in the group so I'm not in the group yet but once you're in the group right once you're in the group if I go back here to the search I have um and I just go to say just affiliate marketing I'm in I'm in a bunch of affiliate marketing groups but not this specific one but basically once you're in groups right once you're in the group and if I click on groups again right here you'll see that this is going to be blue right it shows that you're already in the group right if I scroll down like I'm in lots of these groups if I scroll down there must be some I'm not in there you go see now the ones that I'm not in are like black like this uh which means I'm not in that group see 69,000 members 218,000 members these are big groups right which maybe you know I should join but anyways the point is not that so you know the first thing you got to do is you got to go join groups that your target market is in now how you find your target market how do you define that who is your uh ideal prospect and all those things it's not really the focus of this particular uh episode I want to talk more about hacking groups and how to uh, get into the, the you know the finding your hottest prospects is one thing right one thing is finding where they are which groups they're in that kind of stuff but we're going to be talking about how you can target them a lot better based on uh something we're, we're getting in a second okay so let's just go into one of these groups. this group here is 100,000 members these might be what we call spam groups so I'm going to try to find one that's smaller there you go field market there's 1.3 so there we go all right so this is a smaller group so I'm just going to look at this group to see what's in here so here's here's one of the things right so as you look through the group posts you go through the you can definitely see who is actually active and who's not right so if I go to the group I see there's 1,000 members I can click on this and it gives me the list of the members right now I'm not sure how Facebook uh sorts these uh, I guess some people have sent me friend requests here right um which I never noticed because I have too many right if I look at if I have look at my friend friend members I got like a thousand I think friend requests right and that's what happens when you're when you get lots of um when you're active but you know you could go to each of these people's profiles and you can kind of look at look them up and see who they are what they're about whatever right and that will take a lot of time for you to do but that is one way and that's one of the things that some of the leaders teach you right is to just go to their profile I just go to I don't know Rajesh here and I go see what he's about he says no posts but if I go to his main profile and let's just uh, wait for it to load up here oh actually this is it okay so that's the, uh, whoever this person is right they're posting things and you can kind of see what they post about right so he's posting about 16 years ago how he I guess that's his anniversary yeah and his wife there and then he's posting this this thing here the fastest way to kill someone is just so compared to something else so he's he's actually you can I and this is the thing right in affiliate marketing most people that are going to be posting in the groups are affiliate marketers right so they, either they have something to sell well mostly they have something to sell that's what they that's why they're in affiliate marketing right but you can see here that he's posting right and uh one of the things that's important is to know who is actually active because if I go to the group and I look at the list of people that are in the group there's no way for me to tell I guess not no I'm just I'm always wondering if Facebook makes changes right but there's no way to tell right here whether they are active or not in the group it's just you know these people no no way I click on their name 
gives me their post I can see they posted since she Maria here posted August 24th she posted something in the group right she posted two posts according to this but to be honest I don't think Facebook will show you everything that the person does and that's something that uh, we're going to talk in a second but you can see that this person here is doing affiliate marketing to hit 5k per month without using paid ads clarity sell so that's her you know her thing that's what she's promoting right now these are posts in the group what you want to know is are they active on their own profile why do you care about this if I go to their main profile so why do you care whether they're active on their main profile right she seems to October 6th she posted October 6th she posted October 8th she posted October 8th again here on the 11th on the 13th so she's more pretty active right posting every couple of days and if these are all posts that you can you know engage on comment on that kind of stuff and this is why it's important right as a group hacker you're going in the group you're going to find the people that are actually active and you're actually going to go engage on their posts on their personal profile why do you want to do that why do you want to engage on their personal profile because you know all the leaders they'll tell you to go engage in the group answer questions things like that which you know is not a bad idea and it actually does work over a long period of time but the thing is that you you know unless unless you're really really you really have an amazing memory you're probably not going to remember five days later that you commented on this person's post unless you've seen them almost every day and that kind of stuff right so by going to their profile you're basically engaging in their and their in their personal world right in their world which has a higher value to them than you engaging on their posts in the group although they post in the group because they want people to comment and like and react to their posts right but they're also posting on their personal profile because they want people to see their stuff right so in Facebook this is kind of how it works you won't see stuff unless there's engagement on your stuff right so these people that are posting on their profile that doesn't mean that you're gonna that they're gonna their posts are gonna be seen like here's an, for example let's take a look at this so she, well she's doing really good she's got 45 comments here she doesn't have any comments on this one uh 26 comments on this one 17 on this one 26 on this so she does really good this particular person Maria Wasim here is a good a good person to connect with try to try to have a conversation with definitely I would put her in the list of people that are worth you know having a conversation with at least right and that's kind of what I do right I go through the group and then I go see who's active and I go see who's active on their personal profile and then I do engagement now you might be thinking oh my god that's totally insane <laughs> that's gonna take forever to do that and you know what you're right it does take forever um but I have a better way and that's one of the things I've been doing for a while I actually created a tool and I'm going to kind of show you about it you certainly don't it's you can use it for free so this I just want to let you know that ahead of time uh, obviously just like anything else if you want more out of it there is there are paid plans but the idea with the tool is that it will find for you the people that are active the people that are active it'll find for you so instead of me going to this and clicking on each of these names and finding them like say I click on I don't know let's go down the list here let's Catalina here if I look at this it says there's no post if I go back to her main profile I can see August 15th so that's been a while August 2nd so twice so like maybe two posts two posts a month right so she's less active but she does post a little bit right so she's got these posts that she's doing so this you know could be considered a little a little less active but imagine what I'm doing right here right clicking on these names right and going to their going to their profiles like this I don't know oh, am I maybe I'm not showing you that this person here posted September 16th 14th September 5th that's still you know almost a month ago right now because we're October right now as I'm recording it's October 17th even though the episode's for the 21st I think it is but in any case so that's one thing right you're going to see that these people are not always as active and you know it's going to take you a while to go through all these names right to go look at all these people right oh that's what I want to show you 
so yeah because my face is in the way let's move my face to the other side here so what happens is you got when you go click on their name right if you click on their name in the group list right you see this and then there's these three little dots you pl click on this it goes to view main profile maybe you could see it uh, let's see let's see if you can see it oh yeah I guess you could see it <laughs> so view main profile right there right takes you to their main profile which is where you can see whether they're actually active on Facebook or not right so this person here October 12th so he's pretty active September set well that's just a pin post uh, uh, six days ago uh, October 6th October 5th so he's he's pretty active so I'm actually kind of lucky because lots of times when I go to groups if I look at the list of people and maybe that's because Facebook actually does this this way maybe it does show you the active people at the top of the list right I'm not sure but if I go and I look at the group itself just the community the group itself and I'll look at the posts here's the other thing who is active well the person that's posting right this person here well actually active in the group right they're active in the group this person's active in the group she posted uh, this person here posted in the group the other thing is who is commenting right if I click on this whoops I guess don't click on it so I see that this Noreen can well react or commented on this post right and this person here Sonia F stars she has and then there's Noreen Canwell again I guess that might be her this Noreen might be the one of the owners of this group but and you can see over here yeah because she's commenting on everything but still you can see these comments you can see these posts in here you can see who's active right these these act these people that are actually posting in the group right they're obviously active in the group right but does it mean they're active on their personal profile I don't know let's go take a look this ng person here if I go to her main profile oh see you can't see it yeah let me take my this one here you yeah. see how the main profile right here so there so now I go to her main profile July 30th and that's a pin post September 6th okay well there's still August 31st August 29th and that might just be because it's an affiliate group and affiliates are highly active because they're trying to sell something right so obviously they they're all trying to sell something so but that's a good um group to be looking for in terms of online marketing if you try to sell anything online obviously you want people who are active online as well although if they're trying to sell something they might be like not interested in talking to you because you're trying to sell something too or whatever it is right so you've got to kind of be careful of that but okay now let's get to the the the, the tool I was telling you about so let's just go to the I'm just going to show you here whoops what did I do there right so if I go to this tool here this is this is a tool called active group users um oh let's just put the link here so you can have it but basically if you go to this link you can set up an account right so it's called activegroupusers.com and it's free to set up an account and you also get a 14-day free trial of uh, with ad additional features but you can just go there set up your account and this is kind of what it looks like whenever you're whenever you've been using it for a while <coughs> it'll give you a list of all the people that are actually posting and commenting and you can see what their posts are what their comments the comments are <clears throat> and then after a while you'll be able to see who's hot who's act who's not who's a there's only one there's a warm here right warm contacts and that's based on uh, how often you've engaged with them but that's beside the point I just want to show you this this kind of what it looks like so once you've got the user you can click on their uh, profile and you can actually go directly to their Facebook profile and the thing is that that takes you to their profile right like this Sarah Bakary here is somebody that is in my list here of people that are active in the groups that I care about and it takes me straight to her profile here instead of me having to click and then click on the main profile and then it also lets me see you know um it also well here's the other thing when I look at let's just close this when I look at this whoops go away okay so when you look here you can also see how many comments this person has posted 20 comments in the last 30 days right so they're definitely active they did five posts in the last 30 days and uh be, depending on whether I whether whether the data was available the month before she did zero the month before so this is what these th four numbers are 
this is this first number number five right there is the number of posts that they posted and the second number is the number of comments that they you know commented on other people's posts or maybe even their own posts and then the and that's in the last 30 days the first two numbers is in the last 30 days the last two numbers is prior to the previous 30 days before that and that kind of lets you see who is posting commenting the most see this Baxter Badger here is 126 comments which you know if you know anything about the my latest pro you know that this is <laughs> the uh the the mascot so it's actually uh probably uh one of the uh admins of the group so that's where there's so many comments but you know some of these other people you see they do a lots lots of comments right and I can see down the list here but it also depends on what if I if I look at the all the data versus just the last um piece of data I got so this gives me all the data here 12,000 records right so that's a lot of data obviously and you can also do things like set up whether you've contacted them or not and whether they're interested or not or that kind of stuff based on whatever you're trying to when you're trying to have a conversation with them right but it gives you the list just this list is worth gold right where you don't have to go and figure it out on your own um and that and that's kind of what that is and if you're if you're kind of curious you're wondering what are these numbers right the red box that's there that's kind of stays there right that red box is basically showing me how many visits I did today yesterday the day before the day before right and how many reactions how many comments and whether I sent them a private message or send them a friend request so that's basically giving me you know every time I click on one of these names like Sarah right here that I just clicked on if I was to click on let's do it again uh actually I already have it here so if I just go here and I just look at these posts I'm going to actually look at this and had okay so I'm just going to say I'm just going to say wow whoops those are great costumes must have been a blast right so I'm gonna actually make a comment to uh, about her post that, that she posted there that has to do with her kids and her Halloween costumes and that kind of stuff so you know make it make it about the post obviously right not not just like great post I uh, love the picture that kind of stuff obviously that's sometimes the only thing you can say but like in this case here there's another one and uh, and oh, I already commented on this see I already I already reacted which probably means I commented already if I look at the comment yeah see there you go four days ago right so that particular person already commented on so when I go back here actually I can just close this go back here I'm going to say I commented on one post reacted on one post I'm going to just save updates so now it shows me right here how many times I reacted and visited right so this is the thing too over here it shows me when I visited them five days ago 24 days ago 74 days ago 106 days ago and also I have these notes here that if I want to indicate that this person here I can't comment on their post I'm actually going to put that in the comment here so that way I know that when I look at it again oh maybe that's why I haven't visited in more than 106 days I'm going to click on it just to kind of show you if I go back here uh, no click on her name load that up again right here and I can see that she posts unstoppable funnels right and if I scroll down here I can't even react I can't even like or comment on her post and I uh, do this here no I can't comment on anything uh I was able to react here and I can't comment. so this is the thing if you're doing online marketing <laughs> you want to make sure that people can actually engage on your posts even if even if they're not your friends because you know it's like you've got a business you have a business online right so if you have a business a corner store right are you not going to have the door so that they can just walk in and look at your stuff are you going to have you know windows so you can see inside your store to see what there is if they're walking by of course you are you're not going to board up all your windows and have a door lock so that nobody can go in and nobody can see what you sell that would be kind of kind of silly right to have a business like that <clears throat> so online it's kind of the same as having posts that are not are public they've got to be public and you've got to be able to react and comment on them otherwise what's the point right so this is one of the examples of what I see 
so I'm just going to say I can't comment and so I sent a pm let's just cancel that I already did that so I'm just going to not even worry about save updates because I can't do anything but you know that's kind of shows I just visited now right one minute ago that kind of stuff right if I click on this one 29 days ago I click on her name again this is somebody that I visited many times and now I can see um and then I'll just say just over here <clears throat> I guess the computer's a little slow let's get it get it loaded there we go let's see super cute there I commented on this one absolutely 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 oops absolutely they are yeah all four of them there we go here's comment on here I'm just going to put these two I close this and then I go over here I say two posts and two posts now this does seem like a little bit of work and it it is a little bit of work obviously but over time you're going to find that it's really worth it because now I have a list and I can go in here and I can say okay give me just the warm the warm uh the warm people oh, I guess it's got to be the other way well uh let's go into advance here I can say temperature is warm so filter now I just have the warm temperature people right or temperature is hot right and the other thing too is I can decide how to configure this I have right now that every time I visit a contact it adds it up and then after three visits they become warm right or after seven visits they become hot you can choose how to configure that and that kind of makes it automatically change from warm to hot so you don't have to worry about figuring out is this person did I engage with enough posts right do I know I mean if I look at this uh Singrid McNabb over here <clears throat> I've engaged on her you know if I look here uh 55 posts right I, I commented I do 23 visits right in the last three and 54 days right so that's kind of what the tool lets you see lets you do that you can go back to here good thing yeah there's always gremlins there's always gremlins yeah and these are Christmas cookies look at that looks yummy yeah you know that's a simple comment obviously that's not you know usually I I try to be a little bit more than that but because I'm doing this recording at the same time so I'm gonna do two again over here two and two usually I try to do three posts three I engage on three posts and see what happens is people will see you commenting on their stuff if I go back to here and just go back to Facebook let's close this now you look at my notifications here you can see that I have all these notifications of people uh reacting and commenting on my stuff right so these are all people that have commented that are commenting and that's because they're commenting on my comment or re uh replying to my comments right or they're liking or you know or and that's because and that's why I see them here right so Joshua Adams right here he's got four four notifications right but he saw my name and my face in his notifications and this is one of the things that's one of the secrets to hacking groups is getting people to recognize you to see you to know who you are and one of the ways they do that with online marketing one of the things that I guess gurus teach is to go in groups and comment on things and answer questions and all that stuff right which is great because you do become somebody that people eventually recognize especially if they ask multiple questions in a group right but that's not that common unless it's you know a group that's really specific to something you're doing and you really have these <coughs> you know these posts that you're actually uh, engaging on and people are starting to know you and they think you're the, the, the hottest the hottest thing since sliced bread right but like I said this tool here lets you do that so let's just take that out of there but yeah so that's basically what this is if you become if you want to become a group hacker if you want to know how to get the hottest leads you've you've got to you know find groups that your target market is in number two find the people that are actually active in the group 
and then number three find the people that are actually active on their personal profile so that you can engage on those personal profiles and then over time you engage on their stuff and then you they start to, to know you and see your stuff because they're seeing your face and Facebook will also reward you by showing your posts in their news feed over time and that's how you can be a group hacker all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out and uh, that's it for today this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time